Hey everyone, this is the Pop Culture Bobcast, episode 273. And on this episode, it's just Bender and myself talking about all sorts of things, pop culture, things like The Last of Us first episode, things like the uh, the new movie Sick streaming on Peacock. And then we get into our topical six pack, which is just a bunch of random topics that we talk about and either make fun of them or at least try to dissect them for you. Um, also, we kind of mentioned this at the end of the episode, but in case you need help trying to find us wherever we are, you can always go to PCBombcast.com or you can search PC Bombcast on the Instagram, the Facebook, and the Twitter. We're everywhere. Uh, and I believe if you go to the, the website, I'm going to be updating the website with our contact stuff soon. Uh, kind of getting the flop off there since she's officially quit the show. Um, hasn't quit the marriage, which is the, the bigger deal, but she has quit the show. Uh, so yeah, so we'll get it all updated, but check us out. Like us, subscribe, tweet at us, uh, tell us how shitty we are. We don't care. Um, anyway, listen to the episode before you do any of that. And that episode will start right after this bomb, uh, which is episode 273. Peace about that. You got a tattoo done? Uh, let me see it. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a angry bear, all right. Yeah. That's exactly how you described it. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. How long did that take? About three hours. Uh, the, we are recording, but how much did it cost you? Uh, with tip, four hundred. Oh, ain't bad. Uh, give a shout out to who did it? Uh, Nathan Shanley and um. Uh, what is it? Big Bear Tattoo? You got a bear from a Big Bear Tattoo? Yeah. yeah. That seems better. That looks like going a little to, redundant. Say to go to the concert with the band that you're yeah. uh yeah. Is that the equivalent tattoo equivalent? Oh, they seems pretty good at um the old school stuff. And uh, that's what I wanted to do. Like, a, like an American traditional style bear tattoo. So it was fun. Uh it was more painful than I remember. Uh Especially down by the elbow and up by the armpit again. I'm like, fuck, I forget how much this shit hurts. <laughs> the middle's fine. It's the armpit and the elbow that's just fucking terrible. Yeah. The ar- the armpit for me was the real bad one. Oh, dude. Like, it's just... I didn't dig that. No, no. That is that is worse than the elbow. The elbow is just like, uh, you know when you don't quite but almost hit your funny bone? Oh, yeah. It's like that just all the fucking time. <laughs> well, uh, I'll tell you. Uh, you, there was two things you, you you keyed on right there, which I'll segue us and start. Well, first off, I'll tell everybody we are back, and obviously you only heard two voices start this episode. That would be myself, of course, and then uh, Bender only right across from me. Yes, sir. Uh, I just got back from the Bahamas, and and the reason I wanted to segue off what you said because one, you brought up Chicago was very expensive. Yep. I've been to Chicago plenty of times. I don't think it's that expensive, uh, but I've been went to the most expensive vacation on the planet. In the Bahamas. Yeah, but you didn't pay for it, right? I paid for two days. I so I was there from Monday through Sunday. Okay. Monday through Thursday morning was all in the company. Thursday lunch on was on me. Okay. But I gotta tell you, had me and Missy stayed, just her and I that whole week, bought all three meals. Keep in mind my company paid for my meals earlier in the week. Mm-hmm. I bet it would have been a before flights seven thousand dollar vacation. Jesus. Those hotel rooms, we got them at a very discounted rate. They average non-discount about six hundred bucks a night, yeah, and bad. this resort was phenomenal. But mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I got I sat down when I got there Monday before our welcome welcome to the Bahama mixer, and I ordered me a double buffalo trace, and I got the tab. It was forty dollars. Nice fucking bottles, thirty five dollars yeah. here in the United yeah. States. Uh, beers, ten bucks a piece. Well, that's what Chicago is. Uh, now nah, I've been all over Chicago. No, I'm telling you, man. Everywhere I went. Beers were ten fucking dollars. I think dude. maybe it depends on what you're drinking, but I've been I was all drinking craft beers. The whole time. I've been all over that town and I paid ten bucks a beer. When was the last time you went? Inflation's a bitch, bro. Uh, <laughs> I, I've been post COVID and not paid ten bucks a beer. Everywhere I went, there were about ten bucks a beer. Mm. But a lot of what is that revolution? Yeah, revolution. Yeah, they were about ten bucks everywhere you went. It was like eight dollars, and after taxes, it's like you know, like just under ten or whatever. We're, plus, we're in a hotel. We're at a fucking um, Marriott, which is a real nice, fancy one. So, and you're stuck yeah. there, so you're paying a little bit of a premium. You well, a hotel yeah. always charges you. Yeah, more. but I'm stuck at the fucking hotel. But, but but I'm saying you go to a restaurant or a brewery or something. Uh, you're not paying two bucks. No, it was like nine bucks a beer. And you're crazy. I am not you making are it up. Crazy. It is 
not knighted by I guarantee you it is. You you got the screw job or you're ordering twelve percent ABV beers. Uh, I mean they're all craft beers. But... Yeah, but no, there's a difference between craft beer and twelve percent. I can look up uh the menu at uh a couple of the restaurants I went to. Well, I'll tell you this, we had we left the uh, we we left the Bahama or the the resort a couple mm-hmm. of times, but one time we left for dinner and I had a phenomenal dinner and I'm gonna come back to this dinner and but the dinner total for me and Missy after a bottle of wine, a couple of glasses about three hundred bucks. That essentially that same dinner mm-hmm. on the resort cost me four hundred twenty five dollars. It was outrageous prices. Like our cheapest meal mm-hmm. was a breakfast sandwich. A bowl of oatmeal with a bagel, an orange juice, and two coffees. No, so I guess it's not all inclusive at all. Ninety-two dollars. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was not at all. In fact, so so the good news about that is, all inclusive resorts, which are great on your mm-hmm. pocketbook, it's not the best food. No, it's not. And it's not always the most clean resort. Like uh, sometimes you get a good one, but I mean, it's like it's all inclusive. Yeah, there's things you're gonna let go. Like uh, when we were in, we were just in Jamaica. The resort was. Gorgeous, uh, and it was all inclusive for the most, like room and booze and everything. But your booze is, you know, your best beer is Corona, and yeah. you know your liquor is gonna be rail, even though they put it in a, you know, a fancier bottle. Yeah. It's still rail liquor. Well, this what uh, the, the the thing about the food on here, the food was unbelievable. Yeah, like unbelievable at every point. Uh, the casino, as fancy as casinos ever been. been See, I've never been to a resort that had a casino on it. Yeah. I, well, this one not only did it have a casino, but I I uh, I theorize that the reason this casino is so nice is mm-hmm. when you go to a casino around here, think about it, you see the lowest forms of humanity. Yeah, they can't afford a trip to Nassau, that so you true. get only people that have start at you a certain were level. Probably the lowest people in that. Casino. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know my coworkers. No, okay. <laughs> But you guys are the riffraff. So. Yeah, yeah. But we had we sent almost four hundred people down there. Count oh, that's crazy. Yeah, Missy didn't fly down till Thursday. Yeah. Uh, but but so the expensive part I want to talk about. But the other part you talked about uh, that uh, what, what do you, you something about an injury brought you into it? Uh, no memories. Uh, whatever. Or, or, uh, so anyway, so I had this one moment where I got so hammered mm-hmm. on the Friday, the beach day that we had. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Saturday, cold as fuck. Yeah. Cold as fuck. Windy, like 30 mile an hour winds and 50 degrees. It was unbearable. For, and I was like, 50? That's not bad. Yeah, I go for walks in 50. The ocean. <laughs> yeah, with a monster wind. But uh, yeah. I threw up so bad on Friday night mm. that I've got this thing. It's called a hiatal hernia that I get. Yeah. And it's when you essentially your stomach comes up through your hiatal canal. Yeah. And... I know I get them because I've been to the doctor for it. Mm-hmm. It's called by... You call, need to learn this lesson. Well, I've only had them <laughs> like three times, but you if you get them, you're prone to them. Yeah. And the only thing that really can help you is uh, like prescription Prilosec and steroid and a muscle relaxer. Try mm-hmm. to get it. Yeah, they get it going down. Yeah. Well, what it feels... Oh, that's what it is. You said it uh, I, this, when something felt like something constantly. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, well, this what this feels like is when you accidentally take a big gulp of air while you're taking a big drink. Oh, yeah. That's right. And it never leaves. Yeah. And it food sets there. And, mm-hmm. and so I suffered through that all the way to Monday. And I woke up and I was going, I'm going to go, I'm going to call the doctor. And I'm going, mm-hmm. I woke up Monday. Felt great. Not I was like, oh, it worked itself out. Right. Now, that said, this is the first I've drank since then. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. Really, really put it, uh, put the brakes on for a while. Though. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, what, well <laughs> it's, it's caused by, you know, not a problem, but you have a irregularly sized hiatal canal, and that allow it to come up. But what happens is uh, severe irritation, like a like a blunt force trauma to the sternum midsection, yeah. uh, violent coughing, dry dry heaving, or yeah. violent puking. Yeah. Uh, and when you puke a bunch of undigested food because you've been eating beach food all goddamn day, yeah. and I mean, I took note. I mean, I took you know, like every good drunk does, especially when they're younger. I took stock of what I drank that day, and we start. I started with like Bahama Mamas. And I switched to Tito's and Club, and, the, and our guy Wilford made them strong. Then I went from that to a couple of beers. Then I went from that to a couple of bourbons before pre dinner. Then I had a bottle of wine with Missy, then an extra glass of wine, and I finished with a couple of beers. Jeez. Yeah. And when I say a couple, I had like five Tito's and Clubs. Yeah. And it was, I oh, mean, that's a bad idea. Yeah. In, but, you know, when you're on the beach in the sun, yeah, you're you like, know. I go all day. Yeah. 
Yeah. Didn't see, no. But I did. <laughs> somehow I lived. Yeah. Uh, I did manage. The one thing I will say about the Bahamas, though, that I found cool. Well, two things. Uh, one, not so cool. We took a trip and uh, our cab ride was like, but what was funny, the cab rides were uh, varying costs. We took the exact same cab ride six total times. Yeah. And it was it went from twenty dollars sometimes to thirty eight dollars sometimes. Yeah. No meters in any of the cabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just they're shooting. Surge pricing, man. They're just shooting from the hip. <laughs> yeah. And, you gotta negotiate. Yeah, twenty bucks. Yeah. You know, all right. Well, but it was very reasonable for what it was. But uh, we went down there, or we we went uh, net downtown, walked around, did some shopping. I felt way safer in Nassau than I ever did in Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica feels like at any point you might get murdered. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And in fact, when you leave a resort, if you like when we left from Jamaica to walk from one resort to another, they said, go straight there, come straight back. Yeah. I'm like, and that's all. They're like, hey, man, have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, when we were in Jamaica, we went to, uh, what was it, uh, Sunset Beach or something. It, it was supposed to be like one of the prettiest beaches in the world. It was fine. Um, it was very pretty water, and you could like, you know, dive and everything. That was on the, 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 the grill up. side, right? Or, yeah, yeah. 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 And, um, but, like, right outside of it is, like, the town, you know, yeah. and we walked out and immediately, like, they're like, hey, you want to buy drugs? I'm like, no, I'm good. And they look at Rachel, and, of course, she always looks like she's mad. And this guy goes, why are you so angry? It's just, <laughs> it's just my face, man. I can't it's help just it. My That's face. just what it looked like. And I'm like, God, I'm going to die. And she should work <laughs> on that. Yeah, I well, know. So, so when we were in Nassau, we are walking around. And uh, we found this thing called the straw market. And the straw market is essentially a flea market. Yeah. But there is one cool side, and it had a lot of cool, like, uh, intricate design. Looked like handmade. They might not have been, like, wood. Yeah. Tree, you know, just the things. A lot of wooden dicks. Yeah. Like, um, fertility stuff. Nah, bullshit. They just want to sell wooden dicks. Yeah, somebody they, just, they claim it's, it's yeah. fertility stuff. Somebody right? just said, these are real easy to carve, and those white people yeah. just buy yeah. them up. So, white trash white people just love bringing home Miss, our giant dicks. Missy said, I, I hope they got a good enough lacquer on that, because some girls are going to have some bad <laughs> splinters. Uh, but we, so we went to, before we even went to, Baham, or to, to uh, Senior Frogs, we found a true craft brewery yeah. in Nassau called That's Pirate cool. Republic. I got a sticker right there. But when I'm in it, you wouldn't have known you were in Nassau. I mean, it was a craft brewery. And yeah. when you're off the resort, it's fine. Like, I got a flight. Missy got a flight. It would have to book 10 those 20 bucks. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to uh, – it's called uh, Pirate Republic Tap Room. So if you're ever in Nassau, go there. It's uh, it's facing the beach, kind of almost like an alley, near Senior Frogs, uh, like if anybody goes and does it. But We'll, we'll put the court, the, the latitude yeah. and latitude on the house. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> best wit I've ever had, Belgian wit. Okay. I, I don't and like it. And you're a fan. And I liked it. Yeah. I would have bought a pint had we wanted to stay longer. Yeah. Uh, and then I followed that up with the worst IPA in the history of IPAs. It, you think they'd be good at that? It tasted like soap water. You think they'd be good at that? Because, like, the British, get the British on them? I don't know, what's the British got to do with IPAs? That's where IPAs came from. It was like, it, from like, they doubled the hops so that when they were traveling through India, their beer wouldn't spoil. And, oh, uh, okay. So you think they'd be good at it? I don't you know. You know, whatever. I don't know. We also went to a pirate museum. for. We didn't go walk through it because we thought it was, for how big it was, it was too much money. Okay. But, but it was still pretty cool to be at a pirate museum. That is cool. That's uh, like when I went to the Alamo. You ever been to the Alamo? Oh, yeah. Did you ever go in the basement? No, I didn't actually go in because I was really disappointed in how small it was when it's I got a there. Pee Wee Herman reference, big cop, or uh, Pee Wee's uh, Big Adventure. See, I don't get that movie anymore. That's a, it's older than you. Yeah. It's my I age, right? I don't remember that movie. Yeah. But anyways, the Alamo, when you walk up to the wall like that they were fighting on, it's like hitting your knees. I'm like, man, I'm fucking short with these guys. The shortest. <laughs> they were all short. Uh, <laughs> I was like, it's really small. But I'll wrap up with uh, Nassau. I'll say we went into Senior Frogs, which if you've ever anywhere it's been. <sighs> Best first time I've ever had was at a Senior Frogs. I wouldn't know because we walked in there. It was so loud. There was a lot of uh, uh, like uh, uh, balloon contortionist hats like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, and yeah. things like that. And it was ass to elbow. Yeah. And I looked at Missy and I looked at the friends we were with. And I, I go, uh, nope. And they're yeah. like, you agree. I go, yeah. fuck, 45 is like. That's the limit. That's limit. Can't go this back doesn't to, look fun can't anymore. Go back to senior frogs ever again. So we went to a senior frogs on one of our cruises. Uh, it might have been. Uh, were you in the grill? Well, do what? Where were you at? I was at Nassau on the Nassau, Bahamas. Nassau, that's right. It might have been. I don't remember where we were. It was one of those senior frogs. Every one of them has a senior frogs in it. And Everybody I, does, yeah. Yeah. So like we went and I think I think it was like was it Honduras? Might have been Honduras. Anyways, we're there in uh. 
uh, for a minute, and they're like, oh, we're going to go explore a thing. We did our exploring. We had like an hour to kill before we had to get back on the boat. So we walked into Senior Frogs and got some fish tacos. But there was people that we got off the boat with that were still there, like partying. It's not that far. For like eight hours, and they are just blackout drunk. But they were doing like tequila. What I thought was weird is they were doing tequila shots. I got like the girl with the backpack. Oh, yeah. But, like, if you do one, there's a guy behind they her beat the shit that, out of you. that gives you a bill. Oh. Like, they were charging you for oh. the shot. Well, have like, you ever got that what? special shot where the blindfold just smack you around and shit? Yeah, no, fuck you. I don't no, want that. You're just getting get your ass kicked by a big, tall, angry uh, yeah. guy. Yeah, that's like I, when you turn 21 and they, your friends pay for you to get your the, ass beat by a stripper. That's not fun. The, yeah, I've never liked it. The only negative thing about the whole trip, other than the, the hefty price tag, which obviously three quarters of it I didn't have to fit, um... The only negative was because it was a not a, an inclusive resort or anything, yeah. it was not a private beach. So it was the beach, there was constantly peddlers coming up and down. And when you're in the, the city of Nassau, peddlers coming yeah. at you left and right. Your money. And one guy walked by me, and I don't know if he asked to make change. I don't know if he asked for cash. He certainly didn't try to sell me anything. But I'm just used to them trying to sell you stuff. So he instantly held his hand out and said something. I go, no, man, I'm cool. And he goes, you ain't fucking cool. And then he walked, <laughs> they walked by and told everybody on the way, fuck that guy back there. That's why we found the brewery. I go, we got to dip in this brewery because I'm going to beat this dude's ass. And I'm going to be stuck in bohemian jail for the yeah. next uh, 17 days. And yeah. fuck around make a made-for-TV movie out of it. Yeah, man. Gonna have to, like, Locked uh, up abroad, yeah, you know. It's going to be sitting at the U.S. consulate. Uh, yeah, just, it, it, it was just silly. But it was a good trip. She uh, left you. We, yeah, well, man. Sorry, I gotta get them to the girl. She would have gave me three days. Because she was already there for two days. Yeah. She would have gave me one more. No, it's really inconvenient for me to have to reschedule the flight, Jeremy. And then, be honestly, <laughs> she'd never come back. No, for sure. She'd make a couple phone calls. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you call the insurance, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just down down there. You. <laughs> Does she probably call him? Is it some point where I can just declare him dead? Yeah, yeah. They've never said the body. Yeah. yeah. And she loves me, but, you know, yeah. that's her effort. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyway. So, what, what, what else you been up to? So we did Chicago. And, well, I'll go real quick just to prove you wrong. Prove your, your $10 beer The theory. first brewery that I went to was called Crushed by Giants. Now, it is on Michigan Avenue. Okay. And a 16-ounce beer is 8 to $9 uh, on average. Every one of them is 8 or $9. I had the... Neon Werewolf Double Dry Hopped IPA. That was nine. How much was that ABV in that? It was probably pretty high. Oh, 35. That's not very high. That's IBUs. IBUs. ABV, ABV was, uh, sorry, you're at 6.8. And then where's the Jotunheim, which I want to talk you about. You need to quit, quit not talking in the mic for me. Am I not talking in the mic? No, you've been doing this the whole time, putting it right on your ear. Well, they took the, one, the other one that I had off. Off of here, they must—they don't have it on. They must have ran out. But anyways, it was like nine bucks too. It was—it was probably seven or eight. Six months here. But I did. So we did the whole. We got there on Thursday night, and then we toured the University of Chicago on Friday, and that was cool. It was built in eighteen. You did it, right? Oh, yeah. so you straight away. Yeah, I didn't. They did. Oh, uh, I didn't get to go though. It was built in eighteen ninety-two. Kind of looks like Hogwarts. Pretty neat. It's cold as fuck though. Yeah. Anyways, Caitlin's excited about it. Sure, I didn't dig it. Uh, I think it's mostly because it's a liberal arts college where they're just like, you know, we really encourage you to, uh, you know, explore and meet people and this and that. And he's like, I, I, I don't want to do that. Yeah. It's just not his style. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. But um, it was a really cool college. But man, this girl that took us on the tour or whatever. See, we didn't. Kaylin and Missy got a self guided tour because okay. of the when they went. Yeah. So we did the actual tour. And this girl, I swear to God, got off on like. Stopping in, so it was 30. Oh, sorry. That's my bad. It was 32 on Friday when we did the tour, cloudy, and it's like right near the water in Lake Michigan. So it's windy as fuck. And this girl walking around did not bring us into a single building. And the tour is a like walking tour for like an hour. And I swear to God, purposely stopped in the windiest parts of the fucking canvas to talk to us just to watch people freeze. I think she's a full on psychopath. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this sucks. I left and went and got the car. Maybe like, she wasn't even an actual tour guide. Maybe she was, maybe just, she was just a full-on cycle. Or just a student. It's like, I'm going to fuck with these yeah, people. Yeah. No, it was cool. I mean, it was pretty. But then we had, you know, then Saturday we did volleyball all day. How'd they do? Uh, they were in the bronze league, made it to the championship, and lost to the championship. 
Oh. In bronze league, you mean the... So you start in... Everybody's shooting for gold. Yeah, so yeah okay, that's what I mean. It, yeah, the bracket, so they, the when bracket they, was bronze by the so end. So was there the, three different pool brackets after full play? Was there that many teams? Was yeah, there was... Oh, my God. Okay, an yeah. insane amount of teams. The one thing I do like about volleyball is that even if you don't make it to the quote-unquote finals of the win, yeah. like, you still get to play your own bracket yeah. play. Yeah, so like the first day they didn't do well. They dropped two out of the three games the first day, but then the next day they did very well. They took all their games, and then the last, and then that guaranteed them to get at least into the bronze league. But man, they play this one team. They played them in Ohio, and then it's uh, from Cleveland, and they're just like their nemesis. Man, they just this team has their number, and they can't figure them out. Yeah, uh, but it was try fun. Scoring more points than they yeah, did. it was fun. Uh, but I did uh, Crushed by Giants on Michigan Avenue. I haven't had that one, but if it's on Michigan, that's... Yeah, you're paying a premium for yeah. it. Uh, I did uh, Mothership Starbucks, is what my wife called it. Oh, the... Four-story yeah, Starbucks. Uh, roasters, yeah. Yeah. Those it are cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, I got a... Uh, now, I could just see... I mean, I love your wife, but I could just see... Twice. Oh, my God. But I could just see her describing it, and it makes me want to push her over. <laughs> she loved it. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, no jump. Four stories. Yeah, she was so pumped. John, so pumped. <laughs> yeah. We went twice. I got uh, Manhattan from there, though, and it was 20 bucks. And yeah. it was... What kind of bourbon? What? Well, uh, bulletproof. Bullet, bulletproof bullet. bourbon. Bullet bourbon, yeah. yeah. Bullet bourbon. There's no such thing as bulletproof. Yeah, That's right. coffee. Yeah, bullet bourbon, and it was mixed with coffee. It was very good. Uh, Wait, uh, Manhattan, Manhattan mixed with coffee? It was like a coffee-infused Manhattan. It was good. It was yeah, good. But I don't think it's a Manhattan. That's what it... That's what it was, man. They're, they're bullshit. They're making stuff up now. Yeah, I know. A Manhattan is us. clear about what a Manhattan is. Yeah, but they I just a little dash of coffee in it to give it, mm. you know, so they could justify charging you. Should they call it up late in Manhattan? Is no. that what they called it? No, they it, been, have, they, it wasn't even anything. Up about. early in Manhattan. Yeah. How about that? Either way, it was fun. Yeah. I saw the bean. Uh, yeah, we've done that. That's good that was time. fine. Yeah. We walked to it. I was like, "Yep, that's a bean." You were you were there. I think we're going back in spring break just to go actually take a guided tour. Just so she could see what her, because we didn't get to see the dorms, and she yeah. wants to see what her dorms are going to look yeah. like. That's, it'll be cool. Um, so we that's... did, uh, also the last thing I did was a brewery that they did, uh, they was, well, I thought it was just one brewery that had games called Twisted Hippo, and then we got there, and apparently Google lies to you, and that brewery burned down. And oh. It's an assortment of breweries, or it's four different breweries. Like uh, a conglomerate? Uh, yeah. Like, I don't think that's the word either. Uh, assortment? I don't think it's a consortium. Is it a consortium? Uh, that might be it. I don't know. Either way, it's four breweries, and they did like the uh, like the um, Dogwood Social, where you just give them your credit card and you just oh, pay by the ass. Yeah, it, it, was, was, it was a beer hall. Yeah, sort of like yeah, that. yeah it was a beer. Hall. I know that's what they are. Yeah, yeah. it was a beer hall. Oh, With, uh, the worst barbecue I've ever had. Oh, uh, how many different restaurant options were inside? One. Oh, not a great barbecue. I like place. it when there's no breweries and there's more. Restaurants, yeah, yeah, with just a bunch of different walls to go get the beer from. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, there was That's... four breweries, and the one, the one I was going to was Twisted Hippo. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like uh, they were all like uh, micro breweries that you get in a restaurant, like Gordon Birch or something, yeah, where yeah. they have their own, where they're not the best beers in the world, but well, Twisted Hippo was like pretty highly rated. But in reverse, where it's the worst food in the world. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what it is. It's like, you're stuck there and you need to eat, and this is all they have. Well, Chicago ain't like known for barbecue. barbecue. No, and I, if, if I'd have known that, I, I wouldn't have gone there. Like I said, Google made it look like it was a game room and stuff, but that brewery had actually burned down. Hmm. Oh, I don't yep. have one brewery in a place burned down and the other stay good. Uh, after they burned down, these four breweries came Oh, together. okay. Let's resurrect it yeah. and not put the video games and not fix Google. Yeah, that makes All sense. of that. They blamed it on Google. Which, you know, yeah, well, you're going to blame somebody. <laughs> yeah. Google's got big shoulders. Ah, well, the beer was good. And I had, uh, which I, the, one of my topics is a new type IPA that I had that I really like. What was it? Uh, it's called a cold IPA. And I think there might be one in there. I No, it, I got one in my um, last mix pack we got, which was... Uh, Sierra Nevada, they have a cold IPA. Okay. Uh, I had it. That's the first time I'd ever had it. I had two of them while I was there. I had one at Crushed by Giants called Joltenheim or Joltenheim. Well, we're going to do, real quick, put a pen in that. I'm going to pause this. Dump all that. All right. Well, now we're, now we're okay, that's out of the way. That was a that was a 20-second delay in technical problems. The mic clearly has been going out for the last few months. 
But I think it just it bit the finally shot crafts. Yeah. Hey, look, there you are. You're popping up all over the place. Now I no, I don't have to dump it because I can fix it with levelator, but I don't want to have to fix it that much. Yeah, I got you. So anyway, I never really listened to the episodes of that one. Uh, anyways, um, uh, cold IPAs. Cold IPAs. Yeah. So I had one at Crushed by Giants. Uh, called Yoltenheim, and I was like, man, this is really good. And then we went to that uh, consortment of breweries. I'm sticking with the word. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna... uh, and I had one called Frost Dragon by Burnt City Brewing. And yeah, Yoltenheim and Frost Dragon, was this whole area just Norse theme? Uh, you know, it was, I think it was just a funky coin getting. Oh, okay. uh, Crushed by Giants had some really cool shit. Like, uh, real, they had like a bunch of art on the wall. Like, there were classic pictures, but they had giants in the background. Oh, okay. I like when they do that. I like yeah. They, they do that with Star Wars shit. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, the other one didn't have any like unique art. Um, just a lot of hipsters. Oh, all right. Uh, anyways, uh, so I looked it up because I was like, man, this is really good. Because the last couple of years, like, the, the, hazy IPAs and the juicy IPAs have kind of like yeah, taken over made. and I don't I don't love them anymore I'm kind of burnt out on them I don't think they're great so I looked up what a cold IPA is because uh at first I was like everybody was like it's the first thing you say is I is a cold IPA and IPL which is just an uh, IPL lager, lager. Yeah. and it's similar it's an IPA that's brewed with a lager yeast but it's brewed at a colder fermentation temperature which is what you have to do with lagers and margins yeah and then it's dry hopped at the end so what you get basically is a west coast ipa that is like super heavy orange like dank flavor but it's like it cuts off like a lager like it doesn't hang in your mouth like a juice i've had a couple of them and i have not had one that fits that description the the two that i have were just like perfectly that i was like man i fucking love this i'm fine with them i like west coast ipas a lot so do i but i just i'm so tired of like the hazies and like the the juicy stuff yeah they mostly just hurt my stomach because i think they're too acidic with these well yeah we're getting old yeah that too but like i these two i had were fucking amazing and i really really hope that like they take off i I looked it up and the first brewery to do it was wayfinder brewery in 2018 and um and it's kind of slowly made its way around the well i guess that's kind of slow for the beer industry if it started in 2018 and it's 2022 now it's just now starting to get out of uh um oregon yeah yeah i mean you know i mean think about heady topper and and all those hazy's that's been around for years before they got over a year. Yeah. So, Which, I mean, I just, I really liked it. I'm really hoping it takes off in the St. Louis scene. Because uh, I'm burnt out on, like, buying shit at the store that's the same. I gotta place. imagine the problem with it is the same reason the problems they have with Marsins and Lagers is the amount of space in the tanks. Because you have to cold ferment it. Yep. And that takes, that's a lot of space where you could otherwise be producing beer. Yeah. And, but... But even if they did it like well, they're uh, all big uh, now. I mean, everybody's got like five, fifteen uh, yeah. keg. Yeah. You know. I mean, what is it? Four hands is open in another location. A big I'm, one. Yeah. So I mean, everybody's got a location here, or there. They'll make it work. I just, I, I really liked it. I, I hope it's like the new trend that like. Kind it's just of, cool that new beers can still be invented. Yeah. You know, and I was like, cold IPA. It's just all IPAs are cold. Like, yeah, what exactly beer, is this? You know. What is this Europe? Yeah. And uh, I fucking loved it. All right. It was so good. But that was the one thing, that main thing that I brought. Well, no, the main thing you brought will be your recommendation. I remember a little bit of like pop culture recommendation. Yeah, but my non-pop culture. Oh, you're not. You're just main thing in Bender's life. You yeah. brought. Well, let's let's get at it. This is the only thing I don't have a name for, this next segment. And this is like our new segment where we just bring a topic to talk about. And I know you wanted to talk about one, and we're going to do your second, because I did just watch it literally before you came over. Okay. And so it's fresh, but I imagine we're going to spend more time. So I wanted to at least top on the one thing that I wanted to recommend to people this week, and that is the movie Sick on Peacock. Um, it, oh, I just saw the. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's 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 a COVID era slasher flick. Again, it's on Peacock. Okay. It's uh, great reviews. Uh, so we watched it over the weekend, uh, or Monday Monday night. Most the, the it, does, it stars a bunch of people that you might not know. The the most notable people is. Uh, Gideon Adlin, uh, she was in Blockers, or Cock Blockers, or however you want to call that movie, with John Cena and yeah, Ike Baron Holtz. Well, she is... That's really good, though. Yeah, it's, it's not bad at all. She is the uh, girl that ends up being a lesbian, spoiler alert, by the end of it, 
her character. And then the other girl in it is this woman who you know her from a lot of stuff, uh, Jane Adams. She's been a lot of yeah, things. Yeah. But so she, that's her. Uh, and the whole point of it, like I said, it's it's a COVID era slasher flick. Um, what I liked about it is the premise or the justification for killing from the killers mm-hmm. makes sense, especially in the COVID era. I buy it. I'm not saying you sympathize with them, but I yeah. buy it. Yeah. I buy why they're a slasher. It's got to predict. Oh, the, I should have said, I forgot to write their name down, but the guy that wrote it wrote the first two screams. Oh, okay. So, so it shares a lot of the same bones. Um, and there is kind of a pr- plot twist with the killer that you get. It, like and scream, okay. and it's pretty predictable, but it also does a little bit eff- different where you're like, oh, okay, he's doing, he's one-upping himself, literally. Uh, but what, what's great about it is it also handled, I think, COVID well, because mm-hmm. it, it's right as the quarantine hits, and the whole premise is these two girls are leaving college, they're going to go to this one girl's parents' cabin mm-hmm. and just ride out quarantine, drinking, having fun, they got internet, they got everything they need. What's great is it handles COVID in a way that's not insulting to anyone. For instance, in the beginning, there's this guy that leaves the store. As soon as he walks out the store, he takes his mask off, and he gets ridiculed for a bunch of people for not wearing his mask. He goes, I thought outside was okay. Yeah. And they're giving you at the t- you know how disinformation about mm-hmm. COVID was a big thing. So they are getting it wrong. And then he also comes across you know some – incredible so that that'd be the incredible left leaning then he yeah. comes across some incredible right leaning people that you know think it's all bullshit and, and so they balance they they walk the line good like hey the whole situation was fucked yeah, yeah. and now there's some serial killers so it's uh it's worth watching i give it i'm a borderline three three point seven five and or four out of five okay it's a good 90 it's in your will it's 90, 90 minutes, minutes that's perfect and it's a great we watched we put it on at seven got done with it and had time to watch uh, the first new episode of Mayor's Kingstown for this season. Oh, they, they, they did a uh, second season? Yeah, that? just the first Some episode list. just hit. Uh, and it's great. It's great. Yeah. So well, you know, It might be a season three now that Jeremy Renner's not dead. Yeah, well, or let's see if he can walk. Uh, <laughs> but, well, I think uh, we're dead. Into the yeah, plot. I do not have that in the uh, topical six-pack. But, uh, yeah, shout-out to Jeremy Renner. Yeah. And Ren, as we call him on this show, what, we're tight. Yeah. Uh, but uh, hopefully, hey, hopefully. Did you see did. that big tractor that he ran himself over with? Yeah, it was big. Yeah, nice. and his. Apparently, he's a manly man. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's probably get some more training. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He probably don't get in front of it. Actually, yeah. I heard he tried to run and jump. I heard he like didn't stay in park or something, and he was trying to jump onto the. Yeah, trying to get, get onto the into tread it. to get in. Yeah, don't do it when it's moving. Yeah, you probably should have just let You're it go. You're rich enough, dude. Yeah, man. As long as it's not going to hit something or kill somebody, let yeah. it go, buddy. Yeah. Well, you know, he's alive, though, so yeah. that's cool. And yeah, he tweeted while watching the first episode of the new season, so he got a plug-in when he tweeted. Nice. Yeah. Good for him. Good job. Good there was job. a lot of uh, jerks on Twitter that were... Remember he had an app a couple years ago? I don't remember his app. He had an app, and it, apparently it died, because who the fuck wants a Jeremy Renner exclusive app? He also had an album. Yeah. Or some songs. Yeah. Like, you know... More power to him. It's got to be better than Vin Diesel. I mean, yeah, he got, he got, he, that album got him enough cred to get that Jeep uh, Wrangler commercial where he's driving to his own concert. Oh, there you go. Remember that one? I don't. But... Yeah, it was last year. Anyways, uh, where are we going? Oh. Uh, you were, I, I don't know where you're talking. Oh, I just said, yeah, American King's Town season two is worth watching. As okay. First episode's great. First, I, first season's awesome. I just finished. Uh, I watched it twice. I watched it and I was like, fuck, missing it watch this. Yeah. So we watched it a couple weeks ago. We shotgunned it over a few weeks and then uh because of the new season. Have you started season three of C yet? Yes, I'm about three episodes into it. Same. It just doesn't feel yeah, as good. But right? I, I probably need to just watch it. The problem I is I haven't found time to just set like I did the other one. Same. I need to get that done. So yeah, it's same. Like I really like season one and season two and this last season, I guess I don't know maybe it's because I we know it's the last season, but I'm just like, yeah, I'm kinda done with this. But it's not that it's any like worse or anything. I just I think I'm just kind of done with it. Also, they keep going really far and they're blind. Oh know? man, you gotta. And especially that's one thing I'll say about season three is uh, the suspension of disbelief. They're they're starting to ask a lot of me. Yeah, they're that's starting, I think that's the problem. Like that opening scene, the battle where they're like all like coming down the hill and yeah, shit. Like your house is your half of an airplane that you yeah. How did it get up there? 
How did you keep it up there? Yeah, and how do you not fall out every time you go to take a piss? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, uh, anyways. Well, they're all Daredevil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh... But I, I finally finished Severance that Tommy was telling me I haven't about. watched it yet. Oh, my it. God. It's You never really did the corporate office thing. What? But you didn't really, like, you weren't, like, a cubicle jockey, right? I, we, I did it at Cedar Creek and Blue Links. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it was, it, it's pretty good. Uh, real, like, uh, I just, I don't know. It just makes me feel, like, all heebie-jeebie about like corporate life so yeah. it's pretty good i liked it if you I'm haven't watched watch it no, i want to watch it i just haven't yet that's definitely that's like mythic quest i haven't watched season three i watched yet. it have you uh is it all the way through the, I, the whole season's done yeah. is it okay then uh, i will start watching it. i watched it did i like it as much as season two maybe not uh because it's a lot more of a downer okay um but there's some moments in it that were Pretty damn great. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, I loved season two. So, I mean, I'll watch it. Season two was awesome. Yeah. Season one was great. I thought season two was better. But, yeah, worth watching. Okay. But you, you did have a topic you wanted to talk about. Yeah. Uh, the Last of Us premiered on HBO on Sunday. Episode one. Episode one. Long it's, episode. Yeah, hour and a half. Yeah. Um, It is going to be a nine episode first season. Yeah. And you know nothing, right? Like, so, you did not play the game. One of my notes is the only negative review of this show. I only have one negative point to the show, and I'll save it for the end. But the only negative reviews online have been that it is very close to the game. And I never played the game, yeah. so this is going to be fantastic. Yeah. So that was... Um, we'll do non-spoiler, and then we'll do a little bit of a spoiler. But... So that was my thing, is that it's so close to the game, at least, like, especially in, like, the first 45 minutes, that I'm like, the parts that should be hitting harder aren't co- hitting quite as hard. What I can tell you, for someone that didn't play it, whose daughter would just happen to be in the room when I was watching it, yeah, she goes, God damn, this thing's only been on for 10 minutes and started punching in the Yeah, ass. yeah, it's, I mean, and if they, I assume they'll do a season two, because it debuted, uh, the, it the debut night was it was behind House of Dragons, yeah. which had been broken uh, HBO Max's like app. Like I tried to watch House of Dragons on like that night of, and I couldn't. oh yeah. But uh, as of today, it's surpassed House of Dragons with 10 million views. It's the highest rated video game adaptation of all time. Yeah, it had like a 99 percent on Rotten. Yeah, I Tomatoes. think it's down to 83 now. Yeah, after a lot of, but it is still really, really well acclaimed. Yeah, and it was also. The uh, highest, um, they, they didn't say fantasy, uh, maybe they said science fiction, uh, rated de- debut for HBO yeah. on a non-Sopranos, non-House, yeah. uh, now original Game of Thrones. Uh, the, up until that point, I think Boardwalk Empires had had the highest, uh, highest like uh, drama style setting uh, rating or rating or whatever for its initial episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so the claim is there. Yeah, and I think the the most disbelievable part was when uh, the because it starts in two thousand three and then it jumps twenty years. Yeah, and he's thirty seven. Yeah, and that's probably the most disbelievable part. Was he's like, I'm thirty seven. Okay, <laughs> he's fifty seven. Yeah. Yeah, which that's. You I know, think Pedro Pascal's probably in between that. Yeah, he's probably like 46, 47. Like, is he that even that old? I'll look it up. Know. But I'll look it up. But um, so I wrote a couple things down because I really enjoyed it. Uh, some of the game similarities, if you have played the game or haven't, uh, his daughter Sarah's shirt is the exact same shirt from the video game, like little cues that they do. Oh, he's he's two years older than me, forty seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, he's right in the middle. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the watch that she gives him, uh, the whole conversation that when she gets it fixed and she gives him the watch, uh, and the conversation about how she got the money for it, exact same in the game. Uh, the initial escape attempt and like the, like the high intensity of that. Oh yeah. That's that's all in the game. Like it's all there. I will say this: the the this is not my negative, but the most video game moment, and this is like you said, they're slight slight spoilers. The most video game moment is how him and his brother get separated. Yeah. With the plane crashing, and then yeah. or, and then the, oh yeah, like full the, on Resident Evil the style. The truck, the yeah. truck is the only one that can't get around. Yeah. 
you go to LA, I'll catch up. It's definitely a Resident Evil 2 reference right there. Yeah, it's the most video game stuff you can get. Yeah. Um, And then um, the conversation when he first meets Ellie in the apartment where where he's, like, literally it's word for word, like, from the game. So, like, it's the game is by Naughty Dog, which they've done two of these, and they've done all the Uncharted's, which I think are probably some of the best Super games. Fun, yeah. Best games in, like, the last 20 years. Um, they do have a little bit of a, mm-hmm. a reputation of working their programmers and uh, shit to basically to the bone. That's but, game, yeah, yeah, but they do put out some spectacular work. And the reason that this is so well adapted and so close to the game is uh, Neil Druckmann is the creative director that created the game, and he's also the writer, director, show and runner. producer on the show. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you give it, that first episode? And then we'll go into a little bit of a uh, spoiler. Probably, I probably, well, so my, my, um... Yeah, let's, let me get your, let's get your take My on. take was, uh, like I said, I didn't play the game. It, it was, so it's super exciting for me. I'm a fan of Pedro Pascal. Yep. I think his worst role is the Mandalorian, because... Yeah. You can't see his range. Why put Pedro Pascal in that scene? I think one of his best roles is that fucking Nick Nick Cage movie. movie. He's so great in that. But he but he's been great in everything. I fell in love with him in that movie. He was great in um the the Kingsman. Yeah. The American. You know, uh he's great in everything. He was great in Game of Thrones. He was great, yeah, yeah, in Game of Thrones. So uh so uh what was his name? Oberon or whatever his name was. Um Oberg Oberg Oberg, something like that. Gonna sleep with everybody. Yeah. Um I think it's beautiful people. It just loves I think it was a fantastic first episode yeah. of our show. Just fantastic. What do you think? Now you really haven't seen much of the zombies yet, like in their like and they're kind of monster form. They're a little more like Resident Evil zombies, right? They're not so, just straight zombies. So it's a uh they're it's based the disease that they have is called cordycepsis, and it's a virus that's it's a real life virus, but it only affects bugs. It, ants in particular. No, but it, there's but. A, there's another strain for spiders and there's oh, a strain okay. for crickets. Well, and they set it up in the very beginning. Of the yeah, show, and it's so. a fun, it's really a fungus, not a virus. Yeah, yeah. But it does not affect humans. But in in this world, it will and. Uh, it's mutated or whatever. Yeah, it happens. mutates or whatever. But like as they get. Bigger, basically, the whole point is it's to keep spreading and like it takes over their skin and everything else and like in their brain and it's it's real. It really happens in like ants and shit. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Their whole point is to like infect their entire colony. It's one of the scariest things in the bug world you'll ever see. Yeah, it's yeah. very and like the shit shoots out of their head and the spores blow oh, out yeah. and that that's one thing they didn't address in the first episode is the spores. Like everywhere that they go, like if there's spores in the air, they got a mask up. Yeah, I imagine we'll, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, and it's really cool, but like the the scene in the basement where they that guys like plastered Oh yeah. Out, fucking sick looking, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, they're like he we this one uh, what they say? They go. This one looks like he uh, uh, he's already ran his course, and he yeah. said, or he got infected here or something. Yeah. Like that. yeah, yeah. So. But um, so like they, the the disease is just so interesting. It's so much more like of an interesting take, I think, and it's just a traditional yeah. zombie role. It's I, I can't wait. Uh, my only negative is that it's not a true streaming show because we gotta wait each week. Yep. And uh, we're so fucking spoiled. Yep. I almost well, I almost looked to go to watch the next episode where you know how like they give you the first three. Yeah. And I was like, well, fuck. Yeah. They're uh, not Disney Plus in it or no, nothing. Like, gotta, they know they got gold and they're gonna make it, they're gonna draw it out for nine episodes. And I can't. I gotta go watch it again with Missy because yeah. I think Missy will want to watch. It. See, Rachel won't dig it because it's too heavy. It's too terrifying for her. Like, well, I tell you, speaking of heavy, it's a scene that's heavy and it's a very subtly done and it's a testament to the to how good the show is right out of the gate is that kid that walks in yeah and they're like oh you're, you're just gonna have a good nap uh, yeah relax oh, it's just yeah. fucking brutal and then for just a spoiler alert and it happens pretty early in the show uh, then uh the very next scene is they gotta just throw his dead lifeless body they, yeah they drug him and kill him because he's infected yeah uh just brutal and then like uh the last scene like our when they're escaping or whatever and he steps in front of the gun and then loot like just snaps and takes out that guard i'm like man that's that was very well very yeah. well done scene yeah it's uh all in all this is uh like i said i'm only giving it a four out of five because it's got room to grow i don't yeah. want to go five out of you five know nick offerman comes in in a little while yeah i know that yeah, yeah. i don't want to give it a five out of five yeah. i want to wait till it like it's already 
it, it could I could easily sell say somebody say, man, this is already a five. But yeah. It's a four. So I and to me, I wanted to change just enough to where it's a little different for me. Right. I mean it's basically bones. The game are there, like everything, all the big scenes, yeah, all the core want hearts. Some kind of fleshing out that'll surprise you. Yeah. Um, Who's to say they, we won't? Which they did flesh out a little bit. Uh, the leader of the Fireflies, which is the actual actress that was the actress in the, the game voice? as well. The voice. Oh, of the that's game. awesome. Um, she's the only one who made it over. No, Ellen Page, and I say Ellen Page. I'm not dead naming her or whatever. She has, I think she sued them. But like yeah, her. she did. Yeah, yeah, because they made it look like her, and then she sued them. But. Uh, but this is back when, when it was Ellen, playing, uh, but no, Ethan. Ethan. Yeah. It is Ethan. Yeah, now. Yeah. But I, I was, I was going to say Evan. Maybe um, that is a... I don't know. Ezra. It's Ezra. It's not Ezra. It's not. It's not. No, Ethan or Evan. Cousin. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, um, I can see how you confuse the two. Well, Rachel's cousin is Ezra. Um, <laughs> but I mean, Ezra, Ellen Page, yeah. I get it. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, yeah, he, she at the time, he sued them for the, uh, yeah, for the was, likeness. The character clearly was. Yeah. I wonder now. Well, he was also doing a game at that time with uh, the guy who, hi, I'm going to br- brutalize his name, like Hygeo Komodo, the guy who did uh, Metal Gear. Oh, yeah. He was doing a game with him, like where he was getting paid. Yeah. And for his likeness in the game. And. How's that game doing? It's not good. You're right. <laughs> you should have went. You should have just let him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's your, not good. Either way, he got paid though. You should have just said, "Hey, instead of paying me, just yeah. officially bring me." Because it also had uh, the guy Daryl from. Um, yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I forget what it the, Yeah, Norman Reedus. Yeah, that game's weird as fuck. Yeah, and then everyone hated it. Yeah. It was, oh, it was like, the one. Oh, that is right. I forgot. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and it, it was made, like it's like big campaign or whatever. For it, yeah. yeah, but everyone hated it because the game didn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, well, there you go. Anyways, uh. I really enjoyed it. I'm I I'm super pumped for everybody to get to the end because it's it's a pretty solid ending. And season two, if they do season two, like they did the game, um, it'll it's just the ambiguity of like good guys versus bad is not there. Like there's no there's no real bad guys in just try to stay bad alive. situations yeah, just try to stay alive. and choices and the consequences of those choices and the game the second game like plays those so well and it's so heavy that like to see it acted out with real actors is going to be amazing well i'm excited i can't yeah. wait i highly recommend it uh again that you can uh, if you don't have hbo then it's on hbo max the app uh and you can watch it every monday morning or sunday night if uh after it's done after it debuts on hbo yeah. and pedro pascal is Amazing. He's great. It's worth watching. Uh, Absolutely. You ready to get to the next thing? Yeah, buddy. Uh, this is our new segment we talked about on uh, the, the year-end show, the year-end class cl- slash reboot show. This is our new topical six-pack, kind of a throwback to when we were originally did this podcast. Yep. These are six topics trending in the last week that you may or may not have heard of, but I'm throwing at you... Uh, I'm so glad that you're doing this and yeah. I don't have to. Uh, so we'll get into the first one. Uh, All right. I just wanted everybody to know, uh, I just found this out. The Swedish government moves to get rid of permits needed for dancing. So apparently... Uh, is this what Footloose was based on? No, but I did put a note here. Is Should we see Footloose 2? Switzerland. Yeah. Uh, I think they already have a Footloose sequel, though. No, they have a remake. remake. It was uh, a remake. It was a and remake. It's not very, it does have, uh, oh, what's his name? Super popular now, uh... uh Top Gun, Maverick, uh, uh, yeah. was it Rooster? Yes. Rooster's in it? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. well, why, is, why am I blanking on his name? He's only one of the most. He's always Fantastic Four guy, too. Yeah, yeah. Hot, only a super popular I'll actor. I'll look him up. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, anyway, uh, so Sweden, and I don't know what this means. Miles Teller. Yeah, Miles Teller. I always, I always don't know what they mean when they say center right or whatever in other countries. If uh-huh. it equates to ours. But anyway, the center- I think it's I think it's universal. Okay, so well, the center right coalition government wants to cut the red tape when it comes to dancing by abolishing a decade old requirement for restaurants, nightclubs, and others to obtain permits before they can let patrons shimmy and shake. Um, here's the thing: isn't that like a hundred year old law? How is that law also only a decade old? Yeah, like Who was there. Prime Minister? I don't know. Uh, you, you're more into that stuff than me. Uh, it, 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 regardless, like I said, I think, I think, where have all of our Swedish Footloose films been at the last 10 years? It's, it's 
full of like super hot people. Are they just like so busy being attractive that they don't have time to yeah. dance? They didn't ever learn to dance. I mean, so so if you had to apply for a permit, is for that dinner, where that song "You Can Dance If You Want To" comes from? <laughs> no, you leave your home. No, that was uh, who uh, sings that? that you was, have to know. Yeah, that was. Uh, You're better at that shit than me. God, if you wouldn't have asked me, that was uh, Men in Hats. Yeah. And uh, yeah. You're Australian, I think. I, I don't know, I'll but look that up. bad, <laughs> bad movie. Uh, so, but here's what's funny. Uh, permit is a fee of at least 700 kroners, which is, our kroner, they don't use an S, which is $67. Okay. Uh, but let me ask, I, uh, this is my next question for you. Being white and blessed with no rhythm that like we are, if you, just, like, super blessed if no you would have had to pay $67 to dance, would you have ever danced in your entire life? Now what I pay is roughly twenty to thirty bucks, however long it takes me to get drunk. Yeah, and then I dance. But if someone said, "Hey, whoa, man, before you go out there and embarrass yourself and do something you're really bad at, I'm gonna need sixty-seven dollars from you." That's and, like paying someone twenty bucks to kick you. I in mean, nuts. yeah, like if they're if it's sixty-seven dollars is the cover charge, and then you get to drink all night. Yeah, then I'm fine, fine, fine. You know, like I get it. That makes sense. But just sixty-seven dollars just to dance. And like I, I missed this because I was looking up men in hats, but is this the patron charge or the bar has to pay this? It's a permit that the bar has to get in order to allow people to eventually. Pay. Okay, so it's sort of like if you're gonna do a karaoke night here, you have to pay a permit fee to use like songs. You have to you have to pay that whoever has that karaoke the rights equipment. Song. Yeah. yeah. Well, they also and that person has to pay the rights to, for those songs or whatever. They play a subscription service. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess you know, it's sort of so like So technically, that. if you're a bar, and I do know this as a person that used to own their company, if you're a, co- a company and you show, you're playing music over your loudspeaker or you have TV going, yeah. technically the powers that be in Hollywood or the big music can come in and find you. Yeah. There was a whole thing on like when YouTube first came up that like you could get sued. Now you could, you could go on there and say that you hated like. Jews and people that wore LP hats and, you know, whatever you wanted. And, you like, nobody could get you in trouble for that. But if you were playing, like, an old episode of Family Matters was playing in the background, you could get sued for that. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, it I don't know why I went Family Matters. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, next story, uh, horse spotted riding in the backseat of McDonald's drive-thru. And it's got a video for you, so we can watch it. Uh, apparently, this horse just loves its ice cream. Hey, man. So, this is Australia. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So, let me ask you, though. If you're, uh, if you're a horse, if you're a human and you're as hungry, so hungry you can eat a horse, what's, what's the horse so hungry you can eat? McDonald's. I mean, apparently, it's pretty gross. Apparently, it's the golden horse. Yeah. So hungry I can eat part of a cow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, uh, I guess, uh, genealogical cousin, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how long this video goes, but this is, a, it's clearly not a full-grown horse. It's no, a mini it's like horse. one of those, like, pony things or whatever. It does you're mean as fuck, by the way. I just, I hate horses. Like, I think they're really pretty, like, wild horses are really pretty, but, like, everybody's like, you want to go horseback riding? I'm like, no, they smell bad, and they bite, and... No. What 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 possesses a person though to load their car up with a horse? I mean, it's not like this guy just got a horse Listen, trailer. They're driving I'm, like a Equinox or a Ford Focus or yeah, whatever. Yeah, or whatever Australia's equivalent to that is. And also, just because this is podcast format, they are white, which is you know only white people do this shit. Good yeah. to know that it's not just white Americans that do. Well, this they're Australian. Stuff. They're extra white. Yeah, yeah. You're either extra black or extra white in Australia. Yeah, you are yeah, not yeah. in between. Uh, I don't, ne- I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know that it's PC, but it, it, that is true, though. Yeah. They in the sun a lot. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, Dorchester. This is be Boston, Dorchester? Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. Uh, that sounds uh, pretty Boston. Uh, woman uh, accused of arson said she had to light her house on fire because it was on it was haunted with the devil. Uh, this house looks exactly like every house depicted in every Boston slum movie. Uh, it's where the yeah. Wahlbergers say they grew up in. It's where Mark Wahlberg fought, lived in as a fighter when he was in the movie Fighter. It's definitely where uh, Jeremy Renner uh, lived in the basement in the town. Yep, yep. So this woman, this woman says the devil made her light her haunted house on fire, uh, and had set several residents fleeing in the heavy blaze. Um, I'm, I don't know if you've seen. So any- I'm sorry, I had to do it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you. I guess you just had to. Do, I don't know if you've ever watched though the haunting movies or TV shows or something. Uh-huh. 
the upper northeast is where all the ghosts are. That is true. This woman deserves a medal of honor. She just saved our lives. See, now I disagree because I don't think that the devil made her do it. I'm not disagreeing. No, 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 no. It. Oh, the, well, the devil, the devil. You know what the devil? What she, I think what she means by that. She had to put it down to save everybody from the devil. Yeah, the devil made her do it because the devil stepped up and started some shit. It's like oh, when you get okay, to fight okay, with somebody. Okay. John made me do it. Okay, because I thought her initial argument was the devil made me do it. It's not my fault. But then everybody got out. So if I were the devil and my whole point is to get souls, yeah. I would have you lock everyone in, then burn it. No, down. she's saying the devil made me do it because that fucker haunted my house. So I had to burn that. Okay, shit down. okay. You know, no notes. You know, I just. <laughs> no, no, how, no, how do you no, argue with that? Okay. You did. Yeah. You saved everybody. I picture everybody on this block is in better shape because this devil's going house to I house. I feel like they should finish burning it down so that it doesn't turn into like another eight mile movie, you know? Also, uh, in court, prove it. Prove the devil did not make her do it. I don't know. I think there is actually, I think, yeah. someone, there was a, I think there's a real legal precedent set over the proof of God or something. Yeah. To where you can't, be. you can't disprove it. Yeah. Or something like that. Or some, no, someone was... I, I had to look it up. But I saw it on a made-for-TV movie or a TV show, and I had to look it up at the time. I was like, I'll be goddamn, that is real. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure there is, like, a, good, I, I'm just telling you. She'll you, probably get off, like, with... Not even a good attorney. One you found on a park bench. Yeah. Her Jungle, law, yeah Jungle Law, man. They're They're not park <laughs> They're fucking billboards. They're billboards. They're big I don't time. think Jungle Law fucks around. They fuck around with a lot of drunk DUIs, some Me Too's, and yeah. some animal abuse. Ghosts is where I draw the line. Yeah. yeah. This is a Zach Baggins situation. Yeah. So Stephanie, she needs representing her. Uh, next one is... Uh, I did I, not see any of these. Yeah, I like to do that. So the next one, uh, so you know Giselle Bunchen and Tom Brady have, have been split up. They did, yeah. Well, yeah, for the second time, though, she's been spotted. And last time it was on vacation. With Pete Davidson? No, no. Oh. With her jiu-jitsu instructor. Oh, good for her. And based on some lessons that her husband gifted her one year for Christmas. Oh, that so, sucks. Well, my two questions are, well, first off, this guy's name uh, is... How confident do you have to be in yourself to be like, Here's this very fit man that I want you to roll around. So with. that's one of my questions. My <laughs> first question is: uh, so never send your wife to do jujitsu alone with the. No, definitely never do private lessons. No. Giselle's got to go roll in the class with everyone else. Yeah. No staying after class, bitch. And your gi is super loose. <laughs> yeah. And you got clothes under that gi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but his name is uh, Joaquim Valente. Uh, his whole family has a. He's from Costa Rica. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming he's good looking. Here, I'll show you real quick. I mean, kind of goofy looking for uh -huh. a for a uh, uh, martial arts instructor that you know just land. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me do that again. Damn it! Here we go. Let's just do this. He's never uh, he's never Googled before, guys. There he is. Right, he's up there, right there. Oh, he's top Google. Oh, good for him. Uh, but 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 I mean, you know, he's got a little bit. Uh, yeah, he's not. That's a goofy looking guy. It better it's or like worse. very. That, that's a very average looking dude. Better or worse looking than Tom Brady? He's worse looking than Tom Brady. No, uh, he's pretty good with a beard. Keep though. in mind, there's two Tom Bradys in the world. One Tom Brady that was drafted in the NFL was really ugly. Tom Brady, after he got some money, good looking. Yeah, but now he's like reverted back to like vegan, weirdly skinny Tom. Yeah, Brady. yeah. Hey, he's. 49 years old and playing NFL, so yeah, it's working for yeah, him. He's not doing great, but yeah. Uh, well, his team sucked. But, uh, yeah, but I mean, but this guy landed a smoking hot girl, so let me, here's my next he thing. He kind of looks like, uh, who's the guy who plays Daredevil? Charlie Cox. Kurt, Charlie Cox. Cox. Yeah, he sort of looks like, uh, he he's like, like a, a Tanner Charlie Cox. He's like a Costa Rican Charlie Cox. Yep. Not Daredevil. Uh, he could be his double, though. Yeah, so let, let's throw this out there, though. If you're Tom Brady, and this guy steals your wife. You go kick his ass? No. <laughs> you don't even take Tom Brady down and choke him out. For sure. He's going to handle him worse than the Dallas Cowboys. Like, well, I guess I got to retire because I got beat up by my <laughs> wife's uh, new jiu-jitsu boyfriend, and now I can't. I'm a pretzel now. Uh, so last but not least, uh, or not last, uh, the, we actually have six of them. Have you seen this story? Uh, video, this this popped up today. I figured, figured this today. This guy was charged with uh, bad parenting by letting his... How old is it? Uh, did they say on here? Is it four year old? Not even a four year old. Yeah, four year old. Four year old to shoot a gun? No, no. He didn't teach him. Watch this kid. Let's zoom ahead a little bit. Come on, quit talking, people. Oh, yeah, you gotta go through. Oh, look at this kid. 
ring doorbell catches him or whatever. Just playing with a loaded gun? Loaded gun. Now, let me, let me ask you this, though. What's scarier? Kid got a loaded gun? Who the fuck's letting him play on the stairs? All this is all bad. <laughs> it's bad. So dad's in jail, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And the kids it just to paint a picture for those of you who haven't seen it. Just Google four year old with gun, dad arrested. This kid's Is walking a- around in his apartment, like in between, like the apartment vestibule now. in between. And this kid has got his firearm, just waving it back and forth. Well, he's in, he's in a fucking pull up. Yeah, he's in, yeah. Like, diaper, he's in a diaper, playing near the metal stairs. I do like how they block the kid's face out, like. Like who's going to give a fuck if who the kid looks yeah, like? Yeah, who's going to be like, that's, like, the, that's the kid with the uh, gun! Probably like a 14-year-old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but the kid, yeah, it's not the Nirvana kid. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but maybe with a loaded gun, that's an album cover for some punk band, though. But still, uh, listen, I want to ask you this one. Uh, if you were a criminal, just like, clearly, whatever. I'm, I'm going to get... I'm, I'm, just I'm assuming that, the dad was coming I'm assuming back. a lot of negativity here, but I'm assuming it's not a great neighborhood. Yeah. You're, you're a criminal walking through the area. Let's say you're a gangbanger or you're a, a, a you know, cat burglar. You see that. You don't fuck with that building, right? No. You assume that's a horror movie about to start. Yeah. Like, or that it's, not, it's a setup. That's a best case scenario. But, yeah, see, I think I see if you see a grown man with a gun, you're, you're, you, there's some rationality going involved. You see a guy up there with a gun, you give him a what's up. You're like, what, motherfucker? And you pull your gun, and now you got a standoff. You see a four-year-old with a gun? You get the fuck out of there. And put, What's also, this four-year-old done? How many people this four-year-old killed? And if he shoots you and you don't die, your street cred is completely gone because yeah. you got shot by a baby. Uh, if there's one thing you take from this episode, don't get in a gunfight with a What is that? Uh, what's the baby in Roger Rabbit that smokes the cigar? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's baby, uh, I can't remember. But yeah, yeah, that's basically him. If this kid was smoking cigars, it, it would not shock me. That's yeah. probably why he's blurred out. Uh, one, one thing that we're going to do on each episode of this segment, the Topical Six Pack, and this is, is more pertinent and where this comes from. I uh, do like the screen thing. It's fun. Yeah, Jay, Jay and, and Tom would appreciate this more, but Vincent Mann used to have this saying at every pay-per-view is always send them home happy. Man. And the good the good guy always has to go over. Hulk Hogan always has to go over in the last match. Yeah. Hogan's got a flex, for yeah. God's sake. Uh, so we always want to finish on a high note. Uh, so this week, just a couple days ago, 40th anniversary of Bob Ross. Oh, really? And uh, this is a fun thing on NPR. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but it's just, even, I don't. I may not have it's it up loud seven enough. minutes of happy Seven clouds. minutes of Bob Ross talking, which yeah. has got to be one of the best things to put you to sleep. Yeah. Let me ask you, have you ever watched an entire episode no. of The Joy Pain? Never an entire Not even episode. ironically, like now. Like, it's, it's caught fire again in the last, like, Yeah, five, no, no, I, I threw it on, but it, like... I've never sat down and watched the whole thing. I've come and gone. Maybe as a kid I did, but no. Like, I just, you, you can't be upset. He's like Mr. Rogers. You can't be upset when he's on. He couldn't make it in this world today. He only makes it now because it's hip to be, you know, to yeah. enjoy him. But he couldn't make it today. Uh, I don't know, man. He could TikTok it. Yeah, but I mean, well, you know what? Here's what I do. On any kind of thing where they're painting or making anything on Facebook or TikTok, I always fast forward. I see the just beginning, the and then I fast forward to see what the finished product looks like. Sometimes I don't need the five minutes of stuff in the middle. Yeah, but it's five minutes. But TikTok, you know, that's like one minute. He, he, I think he'd be able to figure it out and like do one minute paintings. Yeah. You know? Yeah, speed it up or something. Like, or, you know, like draw you in like once a day. He's like, ah, oh, there's a happy cloud over here and tomorrow come back for happy treats. Happy treats, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a documentary I watched. I can't remember what streaming service it's on, but it's a pretty solid documentary about him. He was a war veteran. Yeah. And got basically broke. And yeah. He, didn't make a lot of money no, on the show. And in fact, the companies that own the show, the, the husband and wife, they kind of, uh, not I wouldn't say screwed him over, but definitely when they started marketing the brushes and all that, he was getting no money. From no, them. no. And then when they tra- tried to do his own thing, they sued each other. It was ugly. Yeah. It's pretty fun. I mean, it, it, the joy of painting, and by all accounts, he was that nice of a guy. Yeah. And it's uh, that's why I got taken advantage of. Yep. Uh, but the joy painting, if you've never, if you do have time, and I said we got. It is worth out. watching. Like it's if you want something on in the background to like oh, fall great. asleep or just feel good when you're like cooking dinner that you don't want to watch, you don't want to listen to another fucking murder podcast like my wife does. Oh yeah. Speaking of, I have some AirPod. I have AirPod Pros. On the, oh yeah. Uh, to help me sleep on the flight, I put them on and I turn on the uh, uh, wilderness noise. Oh nice. Fucking passed right out, dude. I uh. I, I've been doing, I finally got uh, Spotify, 
Because I was doing Amazon Music forever. I, I do. Now Amazon Music sucks. And I do Apple, and apparently Spotify is where it's at. Yeah. I like, I like Spotify. Uh, and their like, sleep music is pretty solid. Okay. I'll give it a go. Yeah. Um, we're on Spotify, too, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we are. So you can find us there. Yeah. Find us on Pop Culture Podcast. I think, yeah. you, I think you search PC Podcast, you'll find us easier. Yep. Uh, you know, I guess we should tell people that. You still go to PCBombcast.com. Yep. You can still find PC Bombcast on uh, all the socials. Yep. You can find uh, you find us on all the podcast platforms that way. I um, should do this at the beginning. I haven't done that in a while. You know what? That's a good idea. As you're listening to this, you're going to hear me give an update on our socials and stuff in the intro to this episode. I'm still Jam Bender, Jam Bender J on Twitter. Still? I'm still, still. Bohannon. I haven't changed there. yet. I've been too lazy. Uh, at Humble Town. Did you, uh, when when Elon bought all the, uh, or bought Twitter and everybody was jumping trains or jumping to different platforms yeah. and all, did you try any of them? I tried the one that apparently was getting super popular. and I, The Hippo one or whatever? Yeah, and it super Fuck sucks. sucks. Yeah, it's still in the beta. you got to give it time. No, I don't. Yeah. It, no. I figure out there's, there's like, multiple no. platforms that you could copy. Uh, it's there. Yeah, just do Twitter without yeah. Elon Musk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, he's not really affected it for me. Uh, it, I feel like you can't get, I used to go there a lot for like real news and I feel like you can't get political, like real news anymore. And like what I go there today and what was trending was, uh, Kid Rock was trending the other day. I don't yeah, know it makes why. sense. Kid Rock. Probably, He's probably running for president again in his probably, life. Probably, but I just, I, he shouldn't be trending. Well, never should he Oh, be. Carol Baskins is trending today. Oh. That's, I was like, why is Carol Baskins trending? I don't know. Uh, apparently, somebody put out a tweet that her husband is alive in the Bahamas. Oh, I didn't see. Uh, he's not. Oh. So. Well, I was down there and I did not see. Him. Well, I guess he, we don't know. I did go not. to a, I did go to an Irish pub mm-hmm. in Nassau and ate one day in the downtown, and it was clearly ran by an American. Maybe that's him. Maybe. Yeah. Was he Irish? I, I don't know. I never met the guy. But it, you say I can see all the pictures and stuff. Post. If you're not Bohemian, I mean, everybody celebrates St. Patrick's. Yeah, day. once maybe that guy's decided I'm going to string that out. Yeah. Good food though. Yeah. Uh, you got anything else? No, nope, that's it. All right, well then, no one else is here to say bye, so you can tell them. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> He's one in three than two. You know what? They're all better than you. He's one with They're all better than you. They're all better than you.